Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm really pleased you're here. I'm going to be doing a diptych, so two canvases, and each canvas measures 20 inches by 8 inches. And I'm going to use a colour palette that has five, maybe six tones, and I'm going to go through that colour palette with you now. Now, you may recognise this colour palette from one of the TV shows here in the UK, so I'll see if you can guess which one, but I'll drop all the uh, details in the description below. Let's see what we can create. OK, so this is the colour palette that I'm going to use. And these are the two um, canvases, the the 20 inch by 8 inch canvases. So two canvases designing a, a diptych. And these are the uh, the brands and the tones I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using um, the Amsterdam brands. And this one is an opaque colour. And I'm going to use this tone for one half of one of the canvases for the Chaos Dutch Pour. And then the other uh, canvas I'm going to be using a Liquitex um, light blue violet. Again, an opaque colour, so it covers the uh, the canvas the white of the canvas so these are um my colors and my tones all to a dutch pour consistency check out my video on how i mix my paint and i did one recently um all browns and it was quite a popular piece um i'll just show you this one and this is the chaos dutch pour technique that i'm gonna that i'm gonna do again today obviously in these tones. So I'm using um, Amsterdam Rose, Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet Light, I'm using a heavy body acrylic studio um, Lake Blue, that's by Phoenix, and I'm using a lighter pink uh, tone by Amsterdam, that's the uh, Persian Rose. And I'm going to use the Liquitex Light Blue Violet. And last but not least, I'm going to be using the Amsterdam Cobalt Blue, uh, which is semi-transparent. And I'm also adding some Titanium White to see if I can get any cell or lacing on the pieces. So these are the tones I'm going to be using. As I said, the consistency for each of these is Dutch Pour. Dutch pour consistency. So I do have a video on my channel about how I mix my paints to the different consistencies that I use for the uh, for the creations that I make depending on what technique I'm using for fluid art. So I'm excited, let's do it. Okay so I've prepared my two canvases, I've done the edges so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blow out these panels first and then I'm going to do the bottom part. Okay. There's quite a lot of air bubbles in the um, in the paint because I've just mixed them. So once I've blown it out, I will use my torch to get rid of those air bubbles.
going to use my palette knife because there's quite a few lumps of paint so I haven't mixed it all that well. This part of the uh, creation is going to be the chaos part. So like I said before, I did a brown one recently, which you can see here, and that's the, the chaos part. And when I say chaos, it's about all the, all the tones and all the colours mixing together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer some more pink just along there because I'm going to have some of this colour blowing over the chaos and then back up onto the block colour there. So I'm just going to have a little bit of that. Okay, so this is the exciting part. I'm just going to put a little bit of there. I'm just going to put a little bit of that there. that bit just there so this there this there and then I'm just gonna also do a line across each one so I didn't do a line on this one Then a line on this one, just a touch of the blue, I actually really like this colour palette, let's see how it turns out. Some of the lighter, uh, the lighter pink. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of white because that might help create some cells or some lacing. Just a little bit of white on that. A lot of air bubbles in my paint, so I'm just going to get rid of those. I really like this colour here, so I'm just going to put a little bit more on. I hope I've got enough of the pink. Hmm, let's see. Right, here we go. So I'm just going to blow this bit here over to begin with, and then up on each one, and then down. So let's try that.
is just a lump of paint just there. Okay, so this is the wet version. I have made <laughs> I have made a complete mess, but I like the, the colour palette. I think the paint here is a bit too thick, so I might blow some more of that off. Or I might just see how it dries. So this is the wet version. And as soon as it is dry, I will bring you back and you can see the dried version. Okay, and here's the dried version. And do you know what? I am really, really happy with this. Um, I love how it's dried. I love the, co the colour palette that was chosen. Um, I'll show you some close-ups shortly. But overall, um, yeah, this diptych is really, really good and I'm happy. Let me take you in for some close-ups. And you can see some of the detail that I can see on the canvases. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this experiment with me. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great week. Take care. Bye.